boys. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of um, a Panamanian rum and uh, the Panamanian rums. There's some excellent Panamanian rums um, out there on the market. I'm getting a real taste from, um, you know, tried a few and uh, really like them. Um, they're quite subtle in flavour in, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, this bottle is uh, Safra Master Reserve rum and it's uh, produced in Panama, like I said, and distilled in a column still um, from molasses. Um, it's been aged for 21 years in ex-bourbon casks, which will become very prominent on, on later when I taste it, I'll tell you about it. Um, the name Safra, on the on the, the brand name Safra, basically it's, a, it's derived from the Spanish word meaning harvest, so it means sh the sugarcane harvest, you know. And um, they say that the company, the, the guys that make this rum, have been on a quest for, for over the last decade to produce the world's finest rum. And uh, they believe they've succeeded with this rum, and um, we should try it, and like I say, we'll have a little test and see what we think of it. And um, it's, like I said, the master blender himself. He's uh, a guy called uh, uh, Francisco Don Pancho Fernandez. And uh, he was Cuban-born and uh, with many years experience within the Cuban rum, rum industry. Um, he dates way back to uh, in the early 90s. He was master blender for Abuelo rum. Uh, Cortez rum, um, he, he produced the, the debonair range of rums and uh, he even had produced the, uh, they got him in to produce the uh, Ronda Jeremy rum and uh, I'll be doing a review of that rum very shortly, I have a bottle um, so I'll review that one soon. Um, the rum is said to be perfectly balanced as Safra, uh, neither being too sweet, too dry or overly woody. So what we do now is, is we'll uh, have a little look at it, if you see, like I say, Safra, uh, Ron Master Reserve, 21 years of age. Um, first thing you notice when you see that bottle up close is the deep coppery hue to it. It's a, a lovely sheen to the rum. It's very nice. So I'm going to pour a little glass and we'll have a look. There we go. Now, we just put that one back on there. I'd like to keep the rum in, in view for you so we can see what we're talking about. So, on, you know, initial, like I said, coppery, deep coppery sheen to the rum. You know, and if we have a little look, see if we can see what the legs are like. Um, actually, you swirl it and they don't want to give up. You know, they get the odd little one go down there, but they're quite very slow moving. They're quite a lovely um, viscousy uh, note to this rum. It really is. And like I said, the first thing when you smell this rum is the initial smell of bourbon. You do get that bourbon smell. It's not very, you could, you know, when you first smell it, it does smell very much like a bourbon. But then... That sort of leads away to um, a creaminess. There's a lovely little creaminess to it on the nose there. With a bit of warming spices, a bit of nutmeg maybe. Uh, there's light sherried notes to it. Um, definitely you know, I can smell in there. Um, smell a little bit of oakiness to it. And you can get um, like, like a fruity like ripe plums it's got a real fruitiness to it as well it's really nice very pleasant now if we have a little taste first thing is the bourbon it's you there quite prominent prominent when it enters the mouth and then it it leads to um I say there's a little sherry in it, a bit of astringency there, a little bit of um, tannin. Um, leads to a bit of sherry notes, maybe. And it goes to like um, a warm, 
oakiness, quite drying off nice. The, uh, what I can see about this, hang on. Yeah, it goes off to a warm oakiness. And no flavours overpower each other. They, they all meld into a sort of warming, umptuous treat. It really is nice. It's no, none of the flavours overpower it. They've got a lovely balance to this one. It's a well-balanced rum. Um, and it and the finish on it it's like a warm creamy caramel finish it's really nice it's a well balanced rum there's obviously been a lot of uh, work put into the blending to get it just right it really is nice um, you would to buy this rum in the UK it's look at you're looking at probably I've looked around online various websites and one of the more prominent websites, which we've mentioned in the past, uh, the Whiskey Exchange, they are doing it for £53 a bottle. So, you know, quite a mid-priced range rum. I think considering it's a 21-year-old rum, it's quite reasonable, you know. A lot of, lot of years gone into that of ageing, 21, £53, it's, it's accessible. Um, it's, it's a really nice rum, I'd say all in all. It's a really good class rum. Whether it be the well, the best in the world, you know, I'm sure uh, that's uh, we'll leave that for other people to 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 declare. But I'd say it certainly is a for the price, a really excellent rum, really lovely flavour, lots and lots going on in there, uh, but all working well together, really nice. So my name's Andy, and like to say, until next time, enjoy.